Hey, welcome back to Private Lending Made Easy. I'm Cal Ewing, and in this video, we are going to discuss your why. You need to know your why when you're doing this. When any, any kind of goal, you need to have a, a strong why that pushes you forward to taking action and, and achieving whatever you're trying to achieve, okay? So we're gonna talk about your why. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk a little bit more practical about what you need to do to get started. So this is uh, about how to build a team that can support you so that you're not spending all of your time and effort and energy um, doing the work. Because the last thing we want is this to be a, another job added on to your list of things you need to do, okay? So we always build teams to support us in achieving our goals. So I'm gonna tell you about that. And then I'm gonna speak about the due diligence that you need to do when you're looking at a deal to make sure that is a good opportunity for you to invest your money or loan your money in. So first of all, I wanna discuss a little bit more about my why. And my number one why right now is I want to help people. I wanna change the way our society thinks about growing wealth. Um, ever since I could remember, I hated working for other people. I just, I don't know what it is about being an employee, but I just rebelled every time. I just hate having someone telling me what to do. No matter how good my job was, and I've had some really great jobs, I just hated having someone tell me what to do and how to use my time and pay me what, you know, just enough to get by. And I'm sure you, you feel the same of having every day to wake up and go to work and that mundane, that rat race, you know, you've heard that before, just that drudgery and the drag of having to go to work every day when you don't want to or when other more important things pop up like your family or other cool opportunities to go and do and see things but you have to go to work instead so you can pay off that lender that's got his grasp on your house, right? So I want to help people and I want to help my children learn a different way than what we've been taught, you know, from growing up and everyone around us is doing the same thing and it's not working. People are not experiencing freedom. They're not realizing their true potential. They're not living their rock star dreams because we're all stuck in this system of having to go to work, living paycheck to paycheck, paying off our, our lenders and our loans, and then suddenly we're 60 years old or whatever retirement age and we have nothing left. We're exhausted. We haven't lived any of our dreams because we've been so busy just working for someone else our whole lives and we have nothing left. And we look back and what do we have to show? So I'm sure you know people out there that have done things differently and they've lived a very full life and they've achieved their dreams and they're happy and they have the lifestyle and it seems like so far away from where you're at but it's possible we just need to think differently we need to think outside the box and we need to do what the wealthy are doing and this is why i'm sharing this message with you this is why i invest in real estate this is why i do both real estate investing and private lending and why private lending for me is such an important part of my investment strategy, short and long term, and why I wanna teach this to my kids. I want my kids to grow up having this be the new norm in their lives so that they can take over what I'm doing, they'll know it already, and then they can go ahead and whatever their dreams are, whether it's being a painter or whatever, it doesn't matter what it is, even if it pays nothing, they're already set up with the skills to make money come into their lives through different streams of income that they, they're free to do what they want and that's what I want for my family and that's also what I want for you and your family because we don't need to live like this anymore it's ridiculous we're all tired people are dying of cancer and all kinds of other diseases because we're just worn down and we don't have time to focus on what's important so my goal for you is to learn something new that's going to help you earn more income create more value and allow you to have more time to spend with your family, teaching them a different way and to enjoy the world and become that rock star or whatever your equivalent dream is. Because this is the only chance we have. We're only on this planet for a short amount of time and we're spending all of it in an office working for someone else and it's, I think it's a load of BS to be honest. So that's why, that's my why and you need to find your own why and what your driving force is to learning something new because I'm sure this is if this is new to you it might be a little bit scary and there is definitely a learning curve for sure which I'm here to help you with um, but you need motivation to, to make a change and you need to know what that why is in order to make it happen so the rest of this video I'm going to talk about ways that you can support yourself in making this a reality for you 
and it starts with a team. Everything starts with a team. And as I've alluded to in the past videos, I didn't really go into a lot of details about certain aspects of private lending because I don't even need to know them. I have a team that handles it. So when it comes to investing your retirement funds in your IRA or 401k, um, there is someone out there in my team that does that for me, okay? So they make sure that we're in compliance with all of the rules so that I'm not taking any income out of my retirement savings account. It's going directly into the investment and then back in. They do that for me, okay? So I don't need to know the ins and outs of that. I just make sure I hire the right person. Um, beyond that, there's a couple other people you need on your team when you're evaluating a real estate deal, okay? so. Say you decide that you want to be a private lender, okay? You need to find investors, obviously, that are finding properties that need the money, right? You need borrowers, right? And um, so one thing you need to do is you need to be networking with real estate investors. You need to be talking to house flippers and landlords and saying, and getting yourself out there and saying, look, I'm lending on real estate. I'm, I'm willing to fund your deals. So that's one. Number two, you need a realtor. Okay, so you need someone that knows how to evaluate a property because you need to know where your loan to value is going to sit. And if you don't know how much a house is worth, then how are you going to set up your loan to value so that you're making a safe and secure investment? And that's the one skill that you need to know and you need to have support so that um, you can make a sound decision on what projects you're going to lend on. And so on my team, I have a realtor that can do a comparative market analysis also known as a CMA or comps, coin comps. And what they do is when I'm looking at a deal, regardless of what side of the coin I'm on, whether if I'm flipping a house myself or if I'm lending on someone else's project, I want comps. I wanna know what properties have sold in the area that are of similar age and size and layout and configuration. So, um, you know, beds and baths and design. And it needs to be within between usually a quarter mile radius or you know it depends on how many comps there are It'd be up to a mile at, at most and we need to know what price they sold at in the last six months to a year and we compare the details of recent sales as well as recent um, active listings so that we can evaluate how much our subject property is worth once we know what it's going to be worth fixed up if you're lending on a, a fix and flip deal, we need to know how much it's going to be worth when it's fixed up. Then we can decide how much we're willing to lend on that project. Okay, And so that may sound daunting, but if you've got a realtor on your team, um, and as well as an appraiser or a property inspector, these people are trained. They, they have all the skills. You don't need the skills. You don't need to know how much a roof costs. So you don't need to know how much it costs to do a foundation. You need people on your team that you can send to do it for you, okay? And the great thing about being a lender is all these people obviously need to get paid, but you don't have to pay for it. The borrower pays for it. So every time that I've borrowed money on my own fix and flip projects, my lenders have always asked for an appraisal and an inspection, among other things. And guess who's paying for that? Me, the borrower, okay? So when I'm doing a fix and flip, I have to budget that into my project, right? The lender doesn't pay for the inspection, the borrower does. So you as a lender, that's a given. You don't have to pay for it, you just have to have somebody that you like to work with that can go in and get the information that you need to make the decision, okay? So those are the basic things you need. You just need someone that can evaluate the property and evaluate the, the repairs that are needed and then you don't have to spend your time doing that. You just collect the information, you've got it in front of you, and then you can make a sound decision on whether this is a good deal for you and how much you're willing to loan on that deal. Okay, so that's kind of the basics of how you evaluate, really, is you just need to know how much the property's worth, what repairs are going to be needed in order to get it to the top value if you're lending on it, fix and flip, and then you just need to um, confirm those numbers, okay? so. I'm here to help you with this, okay? So one video may not be enough to cover this, but this is why I'm offering my free uh, private lending strategy session. And if you click the button below, you'll be taken to a form, you fill it out, and we schedule a time where you and I can chat through Skype or on the phone. And we can go through all of this, as well as any other questions that you may have about private lending. And uh, I'm willing to answer anything. It doesn't matter what, what the question is. We can get nitty gritty into analyzing a deal or we can you know, talk more about the overall idea of lending and of real estate. So 
without further ado, you've got this far through the series. I really appreciate that. I hope you learned something and you've got some value and you've got some tools that you can use to grow your wealth, change the path that you're on and the path that your family's on so that you can all start living a life of your dreams. And I'm here to support you. You just got to quit. Thanks for watching. I'm Cal Ewing. Take care. I look forward to speaking with you.